Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I am so glad you're here. Today's date is Wednesday, June 15th, 2022. And I wanted to start the show off with uh, sharing a little meme with you that makes a lot of sense to me. And I think it will to those of you watching this video. Quantum physics tells us that nothing that is observed is unaffected by the observer. That statement from science holds an enormous and powerful insight. It means that everyone sees a different truth because everyone is creating what they see. Now, the first sentence to me was the most meaningful. Quantum physics tells us that nothing that is observed is unaffected by the observer. So that means, hang on, means that by simply observing something, we can change it. And there's a situation I would like to make all of you watching this video aware of so that we can, even if it's from a remove like the internet, be watching and uh, sending energy uh, to a situation that could be problematic, okay? I don't mean to sound ominous here. I'm just trying to gather my thoughts and, and share them in ways that won't get me in trouble with you too. One moment, I wanna share uh, something that is, uh, and I'll, I'll do a screen search so you can see where I found the article. Just a second. Just yesterday, Uganda, a country in Africa, announced discovery of huge gold deposits. Those gold deposits are over 31 million tons of gold ore with an extractable pure gold estimated to gross 320,000 tons. Folks, that's uh, over $200 trillion worth of gold as far as I could figure out. Um, <laughs> okay. So, Overnight, one of the poorest countries in the world is now one of the richest, and the wolves are gathering. Okay, and I'll share with you where I saw something about that, and then we're going to ask the cards for information, clarification, and advice. One moment again. Thank you for being patient while I switch around these screens. I do like to share where I've seen something, and uh, so that you can read it also if you'd like to. Um, and it is a home production, so it's just me doing it. So I do appreciate your patience. Just a second for the next one. Okay, Judy Bonington in um, Restored Republic has uh, some information about that gold and it's, it's troubling. Okay. Okay, so it looks like military flight track has, um, okay. <laughs> so the UN is headed to Uganda, okay? <laughs> military from those countries and rebel forces are flanking the borders of Uganda. Okay, so there's several countries that uh, are flanking it and it's over the gold. UN has turned off flight trackers. So those of us that watch flight trackers around the world are not going to notice that they're moving in military and artillery and munitions, okay? The deep state is setting up assets and false flappy thing events to remove the president of Uganda and take over the country, okay? Wow. Now, the president of Uganda has asked Mr. P in Russia and uh, Mr. Xi in China if he'll help. Um, also, he's asked other African countries to help. Um, and I would like to think that there are enough White Hats Alliance members and just, just that uh, strong group that stood up to the UN over the um, pandemic treaty that will come to their aid and help the president of Uganda begin to harvest <laughs> this wealth, this gold and help his country and then countries that help him um, and help this country handle their wealth well 
and take their people out of poverty. And we all know it can be difficult when sudden wealth happens, but I don't like the idea that cartels and, and banking families who are uh, getting a little strapped for cash right now and the UN, which is simply <laughs> a puppet of those bad actors are all descending on poor Uganda. So let's ask the universe, okay? What the universe wants us to know about the situation in Uganda with this gold and um, advice on those of us who care about everyday people who might be caught up in all this drama and harm, um, if there's advice or clarification. Okay, so let's see what the cards have to say. One second. Okay, our first card is the Knight of Wands, Five of Wands, Two of Wands, Seven of Wands, Three of Swords, Chariot, Page of Cups. One moment, we'll talk about that hand. Okay, look at all the wands. <laughs> wands are actions, events, and there is a lot that's going to happen um, with Uganda with, regarding this gold. Okay, the Knight of Wands is a situation. Okay, I think this also indicates the uh, president who is seeking help in being able to uh, extract that gold safely and uh, use it for his people. It's going to cause a lot of strife. Um, uh, like I said, the jackals are descending, okay? So in the near past, Uganda had to look beyond its own borders um, with this announcement, okay? <laughs> and uh, like I said, lots of fast moving events about it. Uh, the cards aren't being real specific about what those might be but they are going to involve, involve some lies, loss, and heartache, okay? Now, our clarification for those, and we're gonna pull a few more here and see if we get some more information about that. Um, the chariot, he's sometimes thought of as the younger emperor, but the, the emperor who is wise and all-knowing would uh, have been in his youth. And he is, uh, he's got a heart for, for justice. Page of Cups is also showing up here, not as our major clarification or advice card. Page of Cups is kind of a cool card because it usually means there's going to be some kind of a nice surprise. Let's see if we can get a hint of what that might be. Ah, they got the sun. And King of Wands. So I think, especially with the Knight and the King of Wands going on here, we've got some eyes are on this. Um, let's see what's going on. And they're in for some celebrating and justice. So this is going to sound a little odd, um, but I think part of this is a white hat operation. Part of it is drawing these bad actors, um, the jackals around and uh, maybe a sting, who knows? If it is, and I blew it by doing this video, I apologize, Alliance, that wasn't my intention. Okay, but it does look like ultimately the outcome is going to be, despite the fact that there's going to be some losses and heartache associated with this, it does look like there's going to be justice prevailing. And that means that since that resource was found in Uganda, the majority of that resource should stay there and those poor people should benefit from it. And going back to the quantum physics thought from the start of my video, let's keep an eye on the situation. Let's not get them, let them get away with it, okay? Eyes on the situation and knowing that that resource was found there, the president should be allowed to lead his people into safely um, 
extracting and managing that gold and they don't need interference from deep state actors. So let's, uh, let's do our part and keep our eyes on the situation. I know we tend to look at our own shores and worry about our own country. And while that's a big part of this, I wanna keep reminding everybody that this is a battle that involves humanity. And we are one human race, one human race who have been subjugated and programmed and used by evil for far too long. Enough's enough, right? Okay. So stand up and be counted. Keep your eyes on situations and don't be, don't be party to bad actors being successful simply because we look away or think it doesn't involve me because it's on another continent or another place. If it involves humans, it involves us. Thank you. If you enjoyed my video, please like, share, comment, subscribe. And uh, your time is very precious. So I do appreciate that you spent some of it with me. Good night.